In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all the stuff that your users can do in their BuddyPress profiles on your social network. This is part of the BuddyPress playlist. The other videos are linked to down below in the description. And these profiles are how your users are going to be represented on your site. You're going to see all the functionality they have and how they can interact with each other. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's check out these BuddyPress profiles. I'll see you in the screen capture. From activity onwards, those are all the things that we added for BuddyPress. So if we go to activity, this will show the activity stream that someone has on your site. So this is the activity stream for my user, because I'm currently logged in. This is where their activity feed exists. So I can type in here, it's asking me what's new. Everything is awesome, is what's new. Click on post update on the right. Now that's gonna be added to my activity stream. Now if I have friends, which I'm gonna show you how to connect friends in a minute, that will appear on their stream as well, which is pretty cool. So right now we see we have zero friends, zero messages, zero groups, zero notifications. And before we get into that, I don't like how this displays on the 2017 theme. 2017 does have a style sheet for BuddyPress, but I'm not loving it. It goes all the, way, all the way to the side over here. I think it might be something to do with my own 2017 install. Yours probably looks different, but I'm gonna show you how to find a different BuddyPress theme if you wanna find BuddyPress themes. So if we head back into our dashboard, go to themes, and then click on add new, and under feature filter, click on buddy press and then click on apply filters. Now we see all the themes that the developer has tagged as being compatible with buddy press, meaning hopefully that it makes it look nice. So you can browse through these, pick one you like and then see how it looks. I'm gonna choose this one because it looks pretty snazzy. It's gonna install that. I'm gonna activate it. I'm gonna head back out to my main site here and refresh this page. And I think that looks a bit better. It's a boxed theme, so it doesn't go all the way to the sides. And it's still nicely styled for the actual BuddyPress functions. So these menus here, this is where a lot of action happens for your users. So this top menu, Activity Profile Notifications, all the way to Settings, is the main menu for their profiles. The second menu down here is a sub-menu of each one. So under Activity, we have the menus Personal, which is our personal feed, Mentions, if anybody at mentions their username, and currently there's no activity because I haven't done at mention myself. There's the favorites. For example, if we go back to personal here, we see under this update, there's a favorite. So if I click on the favorite, I will have now favorited that post. If I go to my favorites tab here, that now shows up as a favorite. So under any user on your social network after you build this, if I go and favorite whatever stream they have, or whatever update they have, it will show up here under my favorites. Then if I make friends, they obviously show in the friends list. Currently there's nothing and same for groups. If I join a group, it'll show up in the groups list. Next menu option is profile. This is where we can change some of the settings on our profile. The first sub menu is view. So we can basically see the base information of our profile. And my name is this. So if we click on edit. I can change this to Bjorn, which is more clear who I am. Then change that, click on save changes. The at does not change. That is still the actual username someone creates when they log in, which I'll show you in the registration step further along. But I can change my username, how I appear on the site when I comment on things, which is gonna be this. Change my profile photo. So here you can drag and drop to upload a photo or select from, from the hard drive, and that's gonna replace this photo here. That'll also appear in comments that you make or that the user makes throughout the site. They're gonna have their profile photo attached to that. Cover image is this image back here. This brown area is replaced, or sorry, this gray area is replaced by a cover image. And that just appears on your profile or the user's profile. Notifications is the next top level menu to look at. And this is where notifications come in to you. And to go over what notifications are, we have to head back into our emails section here, which is one of the things that was added by BuddyPress. And here's a bunch of emails that happen when, or that are sent when something happens. So this first one here, membership request for group rejected. So the situation 
I'll show you how to create these in a second. The recipient has requested to join a group, but their request was rejected. And that would show up here as the notification if your membership was rejected. All of these emails that you see here come pre-built inside of BuddyPress. You can go in and edit any of these. So maybe the membership request for group accepted. You can go and edit this. You can edit the text in the email. As it says at the top up here, phrases wrapped in the double curly braces are email tokens. You can learn more about them by going here. So if we open the BuddyPress codex, it gives us all of the email tokens you can use. These are the global ones they can use anywhere. Activity tokens, there's, there's a whole bunch. So if you want to customize these emails a lot, you can do that very easily with these tokens. And then just incorporate them in your email, however you want to make them. You can click on add new to create a new email. And in this email, you type whatever it is you want to type. And on the right hand side, you can choose a situation that causes that email to be sent. Now these emails that are sent, they also appear a certain way. So if we click on customize, let's go open this new, new tab. We can see in the customizer how these emails will appear. This usually takes a few seconds to load. This is the default appearance. I haven't changed anything. This is just how the plugin figured it should look. If you click on header, you can customize the header area, the colors, the background color, all that kind of stuff. This WPPHD is pulled from the general settings. Go to general settings and then at the very top, you name your site. So the site title right here, that is what is pulled in to here. So if you don't like what it says up here, you can change it by changing this text. So you can customize the header, you can customize the body, and then you can customize the footer. Pretty easy. Then click on save if you make any changes and wanna save them. And then that template will be used for all of the emails that are sent out. And again, the emails you find under all emails, you can add as many as you want for various things. And then when a user receives one of those notifications, it shows up here under the notification section. Messages, these are messages between users. So if you want to friend someone, they get a request email under the notification saying so-and-so wants to be your friend, then they can accept it, and then you can send messages back and forth. And these are private messages, and they will appear here you have an inbox, you can start messages, there's a sent messages box, compose and notices. Under friends, of course, it's going to be the list of all your friends. So you're going to have friendships listed by default here, and then the requests, requests that you've sent that either have been not accepted yet or were rejected. Under groups, we have group membership lists and invitations to groups, so you can be invited to groups as well as you requesting invitations. And then settings is the last one. And this is where we set the email address for the account and password if we want to. Under email, we can then choose which notifications we want to appear. So in the emails, we saw the email that's sent out when your group request is rejected. That's this one down here. Your request to join a group has been approved or denied. If you don't want to get that notification, just set that to no. If you don't want to receive a notification when someone mentions at your username, set that to no. Go through all these, choose yes or no, or the user chooses yes or no, and they can decide what notifications they get and which ones they don't. Then they click on save changes, and that's how they do that. So that's all there is to BuddyPress profiles. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.